Welcome back. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister and Chairman of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, the EDB, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the EDB's Board of Directors meeting. His Royal Highness emphasized that the National Action Charter constitutes a milestone in the history of the Kingdom's national development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted that since the launch of the NAC, the Kingdom of Bahrain has demonstrated a distinguished record of achievements and outlined the importance of building on these achievements to further growth and development across all sectors. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further bolstering Bahrain's position as a global investment destination by attracting investments across priority sectors in line with the Kingdom's economic diversification efforts. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements led by the will and determination of Team Bahrain, who continue to support the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty to the king. Touching on ongoing development strategies and plans, His Royal Highness highlighted Team Bahrain's efforts alongside the kingdom's private sector in supporting the national economy and ensuring the kingdom remains a top destination for investment across numerous sectors. During the meeting, the ADB's board reviewed its 2023 achievements and its goals for 2024, along with the most prominent global economic developments and strategies to attract investments across priority sectors in line with the kingdom's far-reaching development goals. His Royal Highness outlined that the promising investment opportunities facilitated by Team Bahrain in addition to the Kingdom's flexible and robust legislative system have allowed for the advancement of development and diversification efforts, attracting investments that have exceeded the Kingdom's set goals. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation for Team Bahrain's relentless efforts to achieve the desired economic diversification goals across all sectors, which will in turn have a profound positive impact for the entire Kingdom. His Royal Highness expressed his pride in the Kingdom's achievements and developments across all sectors in conjunction with the Economic Recovery Plan and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain has served and continues to serve and empower its citizens by creating promising opportunities across various fields per the principles and objectives of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's key economic indicators and other positive markers, all of which forecast a reassuring future for the Kingdom of Bahrain, dictated by success and promising opportunities for its citizens. His Royal Highness noted that each stage of development has certain requirements and the next stage requires resolve and determination from everyone to build on the previous successes and reach greater and more comprehensive achievements. This resolve is key for Bahrain to continue to be a pioneer in various fields, in line with the visions of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, then gave a presentation on the achievements of the Kingdom's Economic Recovery Plan. The presentation outlined the total value of investments since the launch of the plan in 2021, which has reached more than $2.8 billion, exceeding the priority goal of simplifying and increasing the efficiency of commercial procedures by attracting an investment of $2.5 billion by 2023, outlined in the ERP. 29,533 Bahraini citizens benefited from job opportunities provided in the year 2023, exceeding by 48% the annual priority goal outlined in the Economic Recovery Plan to employ 20,000 Bahrainis annually until 2024. 11,078 citizens received training during the year 2023, exceeding 11% the initial priority goal included in the Economic Recovery Plan to train 10,000 Bahrainis annually until 2024. The plan also facilitated the completion of 12 major projects, fulfilling the priority objective of implementing major development projects. The non-oil sector also recorded a growth of 6.6% at constant prices during the year 2022, the highest growth rate since 12, 2012, exceeding the initial target growth rate within the priority of developing promising sectors of 5% in 2022. As for the priority of financial sustainability and economic stability, work is underway to achieve the goals of fiscal balance. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa further briefed His Royal Highness on the Kingdom's achievements through Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, a comprehensive plan launched by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness based on the three guiding principles of sustainability, competitiveness and fairness. According to the brief, the Kingdom's economy recorded a cumulative growth of 8% between 2002 and 2020 
2022, placing Bahrain among the fastest growing economies in the region, which confirms its ability to continue progress towards building on wide-ranging financial and economic achievements. Bahrain also succeeded in increasing economic diversification as a contribution of the non-oil sector to the gross domestic product rose to 83% from 58% in 2002. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa affirmed that during the period from 2002 to 2023, Bahrain recorded positive achievements in the sectors targeted by the economic recovery plan. For example, the number of visitors coming to Bahrain increased by 170 percent, while non-oil exports increased by 675 percent, assets of the banking sector increased by 222 percent, and the balance of foreign direct investment increased by 582 percent through the third quarter of 2023. The minister explained that efforts are continuing to build on the success of the major development projects across the tourism, logistics, industry and energy sectors. The energy sector saw inauguration of a Dur 2 station, the new oil pipeline project and work is underway to expand the Bahrain petroleum company Bobco Energy's refinery. Meanwhile, Alba launched its sixth smelting line expansion project at the American Trade Zone, Phase 1, while the aluminum manufacturing zone was inaugurated in the logistics services sector. The expansion project of Bahrain International Airport, Khalifa bin Salman Port, and Bahrain LNG were completed. In the tourism sector, the Bahrain International Circuit and the Exhibition World Bahrain were completed, and several tourist facilities were opened. The presentation also revealed that the percentage of Bahrainis working in the private sector increased to more than 59 percent from 2003 to 2023, and the percentage of Bahraini women working in the private sector increased to more than 126 percent in the same period, and additionally, from 2002 to 2023, salaries of Bahrainis in the private sector increased by more than 119 percent. Since the launch of the Bahrain Vision 2030, the government has also demonstrated its commitment to enhancing the quality of services provided to Bahraini citizens through the completion and documentation of more than 1,300 government services and the development of the service level agreement, as well as more than 650 government re-engineered services. The government launched several platforms, including the one-stop online commercial registration portal Sigillat, which enables business owners and investors to manage their businesses and complete procedures and the building permit portal Binayat, also a one-stop portal to issue building permits for all types of building projects. The government also launched a unified guide for building permit requirements and began work on the Takhtit platform as part of the expansion of the Binayat system to include many planning services. The National System for Suggestions and Complaints, Tawasal, was also launched to enhance the ability of government agencies to provide high-quality services to all. The government also initiated the Real Estate Information Bank, Aqari platform, which aims to create a central, reliable national source for real estate information. Finally, the Kingdom launched the Atajar application, the first integrated application for smart devices in the Kingdom of Bahrain through which multiple services are provided to several parties to facilitate everything business professionals may need in one platform. In line with the government's commitment to modernize the system of laws and legislation to keep pace with the requirements of sustainable development, 1,885 laws and legislations were issued, and a culture of creativity and innovation continues to be promoted to enhance accountability and responsibility, as they are among the constants of foundations of government work. The government launched many service projects across several sectors, including housing, education, health, youth empowerment, and promoting women's progress. In the health sector, hospital capacity increased to 3,428 beds in 2022, while the overall health infrastructure in Bahrain was improved through the opening of the King Hamad University Hospital, the King Hamad Hospital American Mission, and the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialist Cardiac Center. The education sector also achieved notable progress, as the number of public and private schools in Bahrain has increased to 291 schools in 2024, and the number of students reached 243,000 students. The Education and Training Quality Authority, Bahrain Polytechnic, and the Bahrain Teachers College were also established. In the housing sector, the number of beneficiaries of housing services since 2002 has increased to more than 55,000 citizens, and many new housing cities have been established, including Salman City, East Had City, East Sitra City, and Khalifa City. The government also launched several housing projects, including a Ramli Housing Project, Al Bahir Housing Project, and Wadi Sale Housing Project.
The governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain and member of the board of directors of the Bahrain Development Board, Khaled Ibrahim Ahmedan, gave a comprehensive presentation in which he shed light on the developments in the national economy for the year 2023. The presentation showed the growth of the gross domestic product at fixed prices during the first nine months of 2023, reaching 2.1 percent, and meanwhile the non-oil GDP grew 3.2 percent, which confirms the pivotal role of the non-oil sector in Bahrain's ongoing direction towards achieving economic diversification. Hamidan highlighted that 2023 was exceptional in terms of attracting investments as the EDP was able to attract local and international investments exceeding $1.734 billion from 85 investment projects, which are projected to create more than 5,792 job opportunities within three years. Hamidan explained that new projects constituted 69% of the total attracted investment projects, while investment expansion projects amounted to 31%. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, his Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior officials and members of the Board of the Directors of the Economic Development Board also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of 2024, assigning the Minister of Sustainable Development to carry out the role of the CEO of the ADB. According to the edict, the Minister shall perform the technical and administrative duties until a new Executive Director is appointed. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 3 of 2024 appointing directors at the Government Hospital Administration, based on the proposal by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health. According to the edict, the following were appointed to the government hospitals. Dr. Noor Riyad Daif, Director of Operations. Qadr Ahmed Malala Lansari, Director of Services. Iman Ibrahim Ali Qasim, Director of Human Resources. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced that Bahrain obtained membership in the Permanent Committee of the Convention for the Conservation of Migratory Wildlife Species, as Bahrain gained the confidence of Asian countries to be a representative of the region in the Permanent Committee of the Convention between 2024 to 2026. His Highness congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the Director's strategic vision of His Majesty, with the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness, enabled the Kingdom to make this achievement, which reflects Bahrain's international status. His Highness affirmed that the nomination of Asian countries in favor of Bahrain is a reflection of their confidence in Bahrain's pioneering role. He said that the Kingdom will seek to discuss important issues related to the preservation of migratory wildlife species and to exchange information and experiences in this field. Bahrain's acquisition of this seat came after Asian countries unanimously agreed to nominate Bahrain at the 14th meeting of the convention in Uzbekistan. Bahrain's selection for this position comes in recognition of its efforts in protecting migratory species and for its active and influential contribution to the coordination and organization of programs and initiatives in the Asian region. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Asian Junior and Cadet Fencing Championship 2024. His Highness crowned the first place champions in the competition, while Sheikh Salem Al Qasimi crowned the second place winners, and Sheikh Ibrahim bin Salman crowned the third place winners. His Highness Sheikh Khalid thanked the AFC for granting Bahrain the opportunity to host the Asian Juniors Championships Under-17, which is an extension of the World Championships organized by Bahrain Fencing Federation during the past years and reflects the Kingdom's interest in promoting the game due to its importance. His Highness expressed appreciation to the Bahrain Fencing Federation and all working committees, sponsors and supporters of the organizing and the tournament, wishing the national and Asian fencing teams further success.
The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. The session discussed draft law on adding a new article to the civil service law, which deals with allowing the employee to register in the commercial registry and practice commercial activity and decided not to approve it. The council then discussed and approved a proposal on amending some provisions of the law on social and cultural associations and clubs, private bodies working in the youth and sports, and private institutions. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the Fraser Suites Hotel located in a Liwan project affiliated with Seif Properties Company in the presence of the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Wa'al Limbarak and the Minister of Tourism Fatma Sayrafi. The Deputy Premier was received by the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Seif Properties Company Isa Najibi, the CEO of Seif Properties Company Ahmed Youssef and the Chief of Operating Officer for Europe, Middle East and Africa of Fraser Hospitality Rebecca Van Luck. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the Kingdom's strategic initiatives in various fields led by the private sector resulted in creating an attractive investment environment that came in line with the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that investors' keenness to direct their capital towards investments in the hospitality industry contributed to achieving the goal of Bahrain Tourism Strategy 2022-2026 through establishing more diversified family tourism projects that highlight the kingdom as an international tourism destination. He hailed the components of a Liwan project that meets the residential, commercial and service needs of its visitors and residents. In addition to providing job opportunities for citizens and others, he wished those in charge of the project further success. Najib expressed appreciation to the Deputy Premier, Ministers and all relevant government organizations for their support and cooperation that always contributes to advancing the company's success and growth. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 
His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The REHC organized the 23rd race of the season. The race was for the cup of His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the cups of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the cup of the Jockey Club. The race saw the attendance of a number of their highnesses and equestrian sport enthusiasts and also witnessed the crowning of the winners. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended the conclusion of the Bahrain Ministry of Interior Tennis Challenger Championship in the presence of His Majesty the King Advisor for Youth and Sports Affairs Saleh bin Isa bin Hindi, the President of the Asian Football Confederation Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa and Minister of Youth Affairs Rawan Tawfiqi. The Minister of Interior affirmed the achievements of the Bahraini sports in many international championships based on the generous support and care received from His Majesty the King and with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister also noted that the support and creative initiatives of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, added valued and uh, sustainable approach to the Bahraini sports. The minister praised the outstanding level and distinguished organization of this tournament in its third year. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation to the general supervisor of the tournament, the members of the organizing committee and the Bahrain Tennis Federation for their effective cooperation, in addition to the Public Security Sports Federation.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates of Jordan, Dr. Ayman Safadi, on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference. The meeting discussed the historical Bahrain-Jordan relations and the advanced level of cooperation between the two countries. The two sides reviewed ways to enhance political and diplomatic coordination in international forums. They also discussed the escalated situation in Gaza and regional and international efforts to stop the war and protect civilians. The meeting emphasized ways to provide humanitarian relief to civilians as well as support efforts to strengthen regional stability. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sarafi, held a meeting with Managing Director of Eagle Hills, Dr. Mahar Shaar, in the presence of CEO of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sara Bahadji. The Minister praised the urban and cultural progress in the Eagle Hills project and the joint coordination between the Ministry and the BTEA. The Minister stressed that the integrated real estate projects represent one of the most important elements of tourist attraction in the Kingdom, noting the keenness to benefit from the cooperation between the tourism and real estate sectors. She added that the real estate projects have a prominent role in attracting tourists and promoting Bahraini tourism. Over the past years, the Bahraini Parliamentary Division participated in many Arab and international parliamentary forums and worked to strengthen and develop parliamentary cooperation with parliamentary institutions and organizations around the world. The Parliamentary Division worked to benefit from its international participation by strengthening international communication with specialized organizations globally, most notably the Arab Parliamentary Union, the Interparliamentary Union and other active parliamentary organizations. The participation of the division made many achievements and won a number of awards, most notably the first Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council receiving the Arab Parliamentary Excellence Award, the category of Member of Parliament and the Secretary General of the Representatives Council receiving the Arab Parliamentary Excellence Award and the category of Secretary General of Parliament, in addition to the recommendation of the second Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council to head the Parliamentary Network for Women Parliamentarians in Africa and the Arab World. The CEO of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sara Bahadji, participated in the eighth meeting of the undersecretaries responsible for tourism in the GCC, which was held in Qatar, where she stressed the importance of creating an integrated tourism system based on the best international practices and standards in line with the Gulf Tourism Strategy 2023-2030. She stressed Bahrain's prominent role in developing the tourism industry at the Gulf level and supporting the sector's transformation into a sustainable tourism sector to attract tourists and she noted that the Kingdom's constant keenness to enhance Gulf integration in tourism in order to achieve common interest in developing the tourism sector in the GCC. Bahaji praised the selection of Manama as the capital of Gulf tourism for the year 2024, indicating that the geographical, historical and cultural aspects opens broader horizons for GCC countries to establish many partnerships and joint initiatives. She also discussed mechanisms to support and develop joint Gulf tourism work and enhance its progress.